So I'm out here in sunny Los Angeles with the Earth Unplugged team. We're surrounded currently by maybe 50 or 100 Anna's hummingbirds, one of the most common, and Alan's hummingbirds as well. Oh my God. This is just the most extraordinary experience. These tiny hummingbirds just everywhere. Extraordinary birds, they just dive bomb out of nowhere. What's so cool about filming hummingbirds in slow motion is you can really make out what their wings are up to. And I just couldn't resist renting a slow-mo camera and giving it a go. And that's kind of really showing what I'd like to see. They're so precise in their action. They can find the flower really nicely, but actually they're really efficient flyers when they're flying backwards as well, almost just as efficient as their forward flight. And if I can see that in slow-mo, I'll be a happy, happy boy. That was cool. <laughs> I think I rather like being in charge of slow-mo camera. <laughs> God, that was 800 frames a second, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be fast enough, to be honest, because the birds had just beaten their wings so fast. These guys are real masters of flight. It's quite extraordinary. When they're flying, all you can really see is their body, because they're able to keep it incredibly still. And they have to keep it still to be able to get that really thin beak into really thin flowers, to be able to find that nectar. They're really living life in the fast lane. In fact, their heart has to go a thousand beats a minute just to pump that blood around so they can fly so efficiently. But it is thirsty work. They have to drink every 10 minutes or so. They consume about 10 calories a day, which doesn't sound very much, but when you only weigh a couple of grams, that's quite a lot. Oh, that's really cool. But you can really see those wings going to town. They're just the most extraordinary things. They're not much bigger than a large hornet, really. And for a long time, scientists thought their wings worked in a very similar way to insects, with a sort of figure of eight pattern. So they get lift on both the downstroke, like a normal bird, and the upstroke, because they can invert their wings and move them backwards. But actually, recently, it's been found out that they do get some lift off the upstroke, only about 25% of their lift, and 75% still with the downstroke. But that's still much more than any other bird. Mate, that's been such an honestly, amazing day. Honestly, Sam, it's been incredible. And they're still flying now. Light, light is going very quickly, but they're still flying all around us. So I'm, I'm quite excited. I have got a little idea that I would love to do, if you're right for time. Water and hummingbirds in slow motion.
hummingbirds and water. High speed action doesn't get any better than that. If you want to see more amazing animals, remember to subscribe to Earth Unplugged and stay tuned for more slow-mo. It's gone.